Hello, my name is Ryan Price, and I'm bringing you another screencast about Flock. I might, you might remember my last Flock screencast. It was about bringing visual interest to your blog using photos, and you can get that on my website, ryanpricemedia.com. And I just wanted to uh, show off some of the new features of Flock since about a year ago when I made that last screencast some new stuff that's going on when you first log in you actually have uh, this neat little dashboard that's going on and they give you some of your bookmarks they give you updates from some of your favorite feeds they give you updates from your Flickr photos and I think this would also include YouTube and things of that sort uh, how do you have those accounts set up right now I just have a Flickr photos and an account set up and a blogging account that is so I'm just gonna jump right in and go ahead with some blogging. I found this really neat event on MySpace that I want to talk about called Cabaret Party and I have a blog where I want to share it. So I'm just going to click on the create a blog post. It is dead simple to set up a blog and I believe that we covered it in the last video so I'm just going to jump right into it and just start uh, showing you what you can do with the whole Flock blogging engine and I want to say Cabaret Party returns and then I want to type in the text cabaret party and now you'll realize that um, some neat stuff I can do for example I can copy this text here and go back to my blog window highlight this text and then click on this little link here and I can put in a URL that I want to link to and there's a neat stuff here like you can click on the source mode if you check this out right here right there source if you click on that you will actually get to see the HTML source of this and also if you click on the preview button you can see um, what that might look like in real live HTML and this is up I think applying no styles to it so it's kind of uh, black. But I'm going to go back to the editor mode and once I've done that I'm going to type um, some more text here let's say it's cabaret party is returning to Orlando and I am so very happy about it. Now, um, something interesting that uh, has stayed with Flock, I think it got removed and then it came back, is the idea that you can have um, these little web bookmarks, these web clipboard. And I've actually got one in here just to prove to you that you can. Um, you can actually maintain the HTML formatting of text if you copy it in there. And what I'm actually going to do, you can actually also delete these, but it's interesting because if you click on a web page and you see something interesting that you want to copy, but it's got some formatting applied to it, maybe it's got links, maybe it's got images, you can just copy the whole thing and drag it over to the bar. You can have multiple things open, you can delete them when you're done with them, and what you can do also is if you've got your uh, blog post here you can actually I think you can initiate a brand new blog post from right here which is really interesting and I don't want to do that you can actually it'll save your blog post for you if you're writing offline and you want to uh, blog about something it's there's all this cool stuff that flock does it's it's a really really neat browser you can actually take and drag this text right in there and it will you know maintain the formatting as I said and then some other cool stuff that's going on too is um, you can have all of your Flickr photos right here so you just click on this little media bar and it should load up the last couple photos I embedded to Flickr and I'm just gonna take this most recent one you will see the preview of it right there and who uploaded it you can get all the, the photos from your friends here too, it's really neat. You uh, drag that in, oops, see that? I dragged it in the wrong spot, but not to fear. So I'm going to try this again, drag this into my blog post and you'll see that it instantaneously showed up embedded right just exactly where I left off, but I'm actually going to bring this up here and add a new line there because I want it to be kind of floating above that text and you get some neat options if you right click you can edit the image properties you can set up a title for example like cabaret party 
and maybe I want it to say Luern and accompanist here and you actually can align your image to the right and you'll see it, it sticks it over to the right like that so maybe I want to do that and leave some extra space at the top and then when you're ready you just right down here there's there's this button that says publish and you just click on that and then it will ask you for some more stuff like um, which blog do you want to post it to you can add a new one right now and really really neat stuff and I want to put this in my category called announcements and then I also want to put it in a category called recommendations and I just held down the Apple key and I think for Windows users it'll be control and you just hold down your control or Apple key and then you can select multiple categories see I can select tips or unselect it you can, neat thing too you can publish this as a new post or you can replace an existing post on your blog already and by default this blogged with flock will be checked um, personally I want to uncheck that because then we'll have blog with flock on the bottom of hundreds of blog posts um, great for flock though if you're if you love flock leave that checked definitely and then you just click on publish and uh, gives you a little progress bar some very very cool stuff going on and it will just open up your blog right out right away so I'm just gonna close this this media bar and here comes my blog so this is how I have the front page of my blog set up it will take you straight to the front page and you'll see there's my post cabaret party returns and if I click on it you can see here I have my this is my block quote this is my text and there's my image floating right and if I wanted to edit that you know there I go I can just go ahead and click edit and it's exactly as though I just entered it in WordPress also and I'm just going to um, get rid of this styling because I wasn't a fan and save it but that's basically all I've got to show you for flock for today and uh, once again I have been Ryan Price and you can definitely check out my website ryanpricemedia.com there it is and you know uh, hopefully I'll get some more screencasts going I've got some blogging going on I got a bunch of podcasts that I do so uh, check me out and thanks for watching